everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, I do air fryer videos on Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. And if you guys have any other air fryer like meals or anything that you want me to try out, just leave them in the comments down below. But Today we are going to be making chicken tacos in the air fryer. So what I use for my chicken is chicken wings and I cook them up in my skillet. I'll leave the recipe down below and you can follow along on how to make it. And then you just um, marinate it, cook it, shred it apart and cut it into pieces. And it works perfectly for this recipe. So I'm gonna get started with what I already have prepped and prepared and then I will show you how to set your air fryer for this. The things that you can do with your chicken is cook it up ahead of time and then freeze the rest of it and then you guys can cook up these tacos really quick. I went ahead and bought some taco holders for the air fryer. So when I bought my, I think it was my 10 quart air fryer in the book, it shows you different things that you can buy um, extra for your air fryer. So I went ahead and bought one of these and it comes in a three pack. So, and then you're able to put two tacos on each one of them. And I think you could probably get two of these in there. So you don't just need to use this with tacos, but maybe I'll come on another time and we'll try something else out with this But Okay, so I have my chicken right here in my um, frying pan, I'm going to add some lime juice to this because I do not have lime to add to it later. But if you guys have just a lime laying around, you can squeeze that on top of your tacos after your tacos are done. But I'm gonna do that right away with cooking up my chicken. All right, so right now what all I'm doing is heating up the chicken and getting it ready to put in the air fryer and add to my shells. So that's what I'm gonna do quick. I'm just gonna heat it up. All right, so while my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna cut up some cilantro. I have an avocado here, and then I have some pico that I got from Walmart. I ended up getting a hot one by accident, but you can get a mild one if you want, or you can make up your own pico if you would like. Um, when I ordered this, and I got this and tried it with the last batch of uh, tacos that I made, it is so delicious. So this is a really fun recipe um, and the flavor of the chicken is amazing. So I will leave that down below. It is gonna be a link from Pinterest and you guys can follow that along. If you guys want, you can also make the chicken in your air fryer. You do not need to make it in the skillet like it says. So if you already made um, chicken breasts or chicken wings in the air fryer, go ahead and just do that and it's gonna be the same as how I made it in the skillet. Chicken is uh, warmed up. I'm gonna put them on my taco shells. So I'm just gonna fold them just a little bit like that and put them in my holders. I'm gonna try to get in all of these at one time. So I'm gonna try to do four at one time. Okay, so I'm able to get both of these in here. I probably wouldn't be able to get any more in there. So we're gonna start with that first. You are going to want to set your air fryer to 400. And we're gonna cook them for five minutes. And then I'll come back and we'll check on them. My tacos are done in the air fryer. I just wanna share one thing with you guys. If you guys are afraid of putting your air fryer on your countertops, you can get one of these too in, on Amazon. I'll see if I can leave a link down below. I think this might've even came with a kit, but if you just wanna buy one of these, um, I'll try to leave a link for that down below too. So I just put this right on the countertop and then put my air fryer right on top. So that's what I do for that. The nice things about these holders too, it kind of holds the shape of the taco. So 
All right, so that is that. I am going to put some cilantro on. and a piece of avocado on there. And then some sriracha. So I'm excited to try these in the air fryer just because when I made them the other time, we just did it right off the stove and I just added it to a taco. I didn't heat them up or anything like that. So kind of excited to taste that like crunchiness to it. And then the pico with that being hot, I'm kind of excited about that too, so. It's better in the air fryer, the, um, the crunch of the shells and everything make it so much nicer in the air fryer. So hopefully you guys try this out because it's quick and easy. Like I said, if you prep and prepare ahead of time, it'll make this go a lot faster. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.